They've already lost their license in London, and today Uber was facing opposition from taxi drivers in Brighton. Under national scrutiny, the CEO wrote this letter saying sorry. While he acknowledged the mistakes we've made and promised a change, his spokesperson asked for a second chance. This is a cornerstone of, of what Dara, our new CEO, has set out for our next chapter as a company. You know, and specifically in London, with regards to TfL's decision on Friday, uh, you know, we absolutely want to sit down with them to understand their concerns much better uh, and work together to try and address them. Speaking just metres from Brighton's anti-Uber protest, earlier today the London mayor accused the company of being aggressive, but their apology seems to have softened him. We are, we are. What I've said to TfL is that they should make themselves available to meet with the global CEO uh, and discuss some of the concerns that have been raised uh, in the past, and those concerns are sensibly around safety and uh, security. And, and my point is very simple here. I want London to be a place uh, which attracts innovation, uh, new technology, uh, businesses, but you've got to play by the rules. But Uber operates in 20 areas in the UK and isn't just facing issues in London. In South End, it's been investigated after claims two drivers who lost their private hire licenses continued to work in the city under Uber's London license. In Cambridge, the council says it's looking closely at TfL's ruling ahead of deciding whether it will keep Uber there. And in Brighton, demonstrators want a public hearing about whether its license should be renewed in November. A hackney cab driver of 35 years, Andy claims some Uber workers in Brighton are breaking rules. He says sorry doesn't cut it. Well, they've apologised, but we're likely to apologise for sending all the TfL minicabs down here into Brighton, where they don't know where they're going, where they're driving down one-way streets the wrong way, where they're camped out at night in their cars sleeping in between shifts and parking on our taxi ranks. And as we're filming, we spot an Uber car with London badges. One of the other taxi drivers said you're a TfL taxi using the rank and you're an Uber taxi, you're not allowed to park here. Opponents say it's unfair competition and makes regulation harder. Uber's already got a fight on its hands in London and now taxi drivers here want councils around the country to review its licence to check that it's fit and proper. But they themselves could face opposition from the public who are keen to keep their cheaper fares. TfL has said it's happy to talk, so a deal could still be possible in London. But this isn't over. Opponents around the country are now threatening to put the brakes on Uber. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News in Brighton.